Good. Good, good, some more good ladies. Things, Everyone got their boobs in place? Everyone got their ladies? Okay. <laughs> Please don't make that the thumbnail. <laughs> Three women, six boobs. One thought. The Blair Witch Project. <laughs> A feminist edition. <laughs> Continue. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Banging Book Club. If you have no idea what's happening, what the hell, there's links in the description, catch up. Hey. This is Lucy and this is Lena. We're your hosts. Are we the bangers? I thought you were going to boob Grace. Yeah. <laughs> and this is Lucy. No, if we this say... This is Lena. This month we read A Little Gay History. Di... No. <laughs> Desires <laughs> and <laughs> devotions <laughs> in history. <laughs> like, we read A Little Gay History. Die. <laughs> Another episode where none of us are drunk. <laughs> no, so we've not drunk this episode. Why is Banging Book Club become I told so you I'm better on alcohol. <laughs> no one believes me. We read A Little Gay History, Desire and Diversity Across the World by R.B. Parkinson. This video is going to be a very brief summary, what we thought of it kind of thing. And then there'll be a link in the description to our iTunes podcast. We're on iTunes now, it's very fancy. Where you can listen to us discussing it for a much longer period of time. And then review it afterwards with a nice review. Yeah, we're giving Woo. people shout outs if you give us nice reviews. Also, subscribe to our podcast. Somebody said that was biased to shout out people who only gave us good reviews. And I was like, that's just called gratitude. Yeah. yeah. It's like you like, only date people what? that fancy you. It, that's, yeah. not, that's my favourite comparison. <laughs> but it's true. Anyway. Brief thoughts, ladies. Go. I didn't like it very much. I think it should have been an exhibition and not a book. But it is an exhibition. Go to the British Museum and there's loads of the objects there. Yes. Go on the hunt. Treasure hunt. Treasure it was hunt. like walking around an exhibition really fast and not having Google with you. But that's fine. Oh. <laughs> I, don't I love that. But that's okay. I really liked it um, on a lot of levels because I thought it was like really short, um, really, really short um, newspaper mm. articles about fun things you didn't know about sex or mm. not okay things you didn't know about sex. And it yeah. was like, some of them weren't that related. Um, yeah, it, well, it took you through it chronologically and it basically takes you through a bunch of different objects and like what they meant and how they relate to LGBT history. But it also gives you like a, a good foundation of like just the themes that come up in like the history of homosexuality. Like definitely stuff, thematic. Mm. Stuff to do with like identity and labels and oppression all that good stuff and subculture. Yeah. And mm. I also think that if you're not a history file, like our good friend Hannah is here. Hi. <laughs> and there's so many lessons from Hannah in the podcast. And Lucy, yeah. if you're not, but you're looking at certain, you want to have a period that you're like, oh yeah, I actually really find this part really interesting. It's good to read one of these. I think everybody found a bit that they yeah. were like, I'd like to know more about this bit. Virginia mm. Woolf. And, but I wouldn't, I, it's, it's about not knowing what you don't know. And like some mm -hmm. of this stuff in here, I'm like, I didn't even know that I could be interested in that. I didn't know that <laughs> part of history was a thing. And good nuggets and I do like the detail say nuggets again nuggets my mancunianness <laughs> came out then didn't M it good nuggets nuggets, of nuggets nuggets what this book taught me was that we really don't know much about um any kind of gay history mm -hmm. just because we don't know yeah. so this is definitely the best way of presenting something and it's for which we have no narrative mm -hmm. yeah it starts some really good discussions about appropriating labels and how we label history in retrospect, which mm -hmm. we talk about more on the podcast. I really liked that it covered the whole world and not just mm. the Western world. I completely forgot to mention that in the podcast. Yeah. But I actually learned some stuff about India. Like, homosexuality was only decriminalised in 2009. But it's really great. And I think learning about the history of homosexuality mm -hmm. and LGBT histories is just, like, really important. Especially when, like, understanding your identity and understanding your oppression. And I also think in terms of just creating a community now, a cohesive and loving community, you need to know what your history is because that's how, you, that knowing your like joint history is a way to like bring people mm. together. And it's also as like, for, for as a straight person, it's really good to remind myself of what has been hidden from me when I learn about mm -hmm. normal history. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like acknowledging that actually a lot of other people's identities historically have been hidden from me there's no spoilers in the podcast so you should probably go and listen to how it. can you spoil history but alert it's real so if you want to listen to the podcast there's a link in the description go listen to it if you make your own video review things tweet them at us using hashtag banging book club and i'll find them and add them to the banging book club playlist next month we're reading trumpet by jackie k <laughs> oh this smells really good i'm gonna enjoy that mm. smells 
So if you want to join in the discussions next month, make sure you pick up a copy of Trumpet and read it along with us. Announcement! <laughs> Many five slaps. Oh, ASMR people. Woo! We're going to be at Summer in the City. Woo! The Banging Book Club have got a slot on the main stage. We're the main event. Yeah. On the Sunday. So we're going to be there. We don't know what time yet. We'll tell you. We will but just you. get hyped now. Get hyped. Get uh, hyped. If you have tickets to Summer and City, I think there are still tickets available. Get them. And we're going to be doing like a yeah. live yeah. book club thing. It's going to be great. And All the more the mashes that we have there, the better. That'll be amazing. Please it's come. Exciting. Don't leave us alone. I know. <laughs> It'll just be us three talking in a room about sex. That'll just be creepy. <laughs> With all the That's what's happening right now. Yes. Yay! How do we sign out of these things? I've forgotten. We don't have a really sign out, do we? I think we should end this the same way that we ended the podcast. But if they haven't listened to it yet, <laughs> it will make no sense. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Seven. 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 <laughs> oh my god, they're getting the thing with part of the whole.